Hello world folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for guys? Hit the subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. What Harry has been doing since he married Meghan Markle and separated himself from the royal family has been considered an attack against them. Rather than trying to look at the way the entire royal family apparatus has worked for many decades, they decide to ignore it and keep protecting an institution that's losing credibility in record time. Just like it happened with Princess Diana of Wales, the royal family reacted poorly to another outsider like Meghan Markle. The evidence to support this claim can be confirmed in the years of proof. Neither the royal family nor the press surrounding it have ever respected Markle. Prince Harry really didn't have much choice on how to react once he realized he was fighting against the system he was part of for many years. But making all the decisions he made so far in order to expose everything done against his wife has been regarded as an attack against the crown. As such, the royal family experts who sympathize with the king urging him to strip Prince Harry of his titles. This can definitely be done by King Charles, a move against his youngest son that would be the final coffin for their relationship. Editor at large at Mail on Sunday, Charlotte Griffins, told LBC, I think this is going to be the first real test, and I think he's going to have to get quite serious because he's really soft when it comes to the boys. He's a loving father. LBC's radio host Nick Ferrari reacted, saying he would be sobbing every day if this happened with his children. Miss Griffiths continued, I think this is the first major thing that happened since Charles became king. Now he's going to have to do that thing we all know the Queen had to do many times in her reign, choose between being a monarch and a father. He's going to have to be quite firm, and he's going to have to go monarch on this. Asked to elaborate on what being a monarch means in practical terms, a royal commentator said, he might have to take action and strip them of their titles. He's basically going to choose William's side because William's the future king, which essentially means this must end. Cut him off. However, the king would need to seek permission from Parliament before being able to formally remove the Sussex title from his son. The glossy Netflix trailer reveals the couple in a never-seen-before pictures of them in a montage, spanning from their childhood until present time. The one-minute, 12-second teaser trailer offers a glimpse inside the love story of Meghan and Harry and why they stepped down from the royal duties. Prince Harry said, no one sees what's happening behind closed doors. After shots of Meghan crying, Duchess says when the stakes were this high, doesn't it make it more sense to hear the story from us? Here in Megan's long-awaited Netflix documentary, which is poised to contain damning allegations against the royal family, comes in the back of racism row in the royal family. What do you guys think of this news? Do you think Harry and Megan's Netflix teaser sank last hopes we've seen the Sussexes and the royal family? Write it down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.